Hi kids, good to see you all again. Today you are going to learn a very interesting painting activity. Generally we paint with paints, right? But today you are going to paint using instant coffee powder. So we are going to first understand what all materials we need to do our coffee painting. You need a sheet of white paper. I have taken a cardstock paper here for my drawing and I, the measurement is roughly around 10 inches by 10 inches. So you can choose any size according to your design. You need a sh uh, ruler, you need a black sharpie or even any black permanent marker will do. A pencil, eraser, white glue, instant coffee powder. You can choose any coffee powder that you have at home but it has to be an instant coffee powder. Flat brushes and round brushes, a small cup for mixing and a cup of water. Now let's learn how to create our coffee painting. As a next step, we are first going to do our drawing. You can choose any subject for your coffee painting. It can be a still life, florals, fruit arrangements, animals, birds, any subject that you want to do for your coffee painting. So I am going to draw a floral design here and as a first step, I am going to first make a border. Using a ruler, create a border on your sheet of white paper. This paper what I am using now is a cardstock paper. You can also go and use Canson papers for this activity or watercolor papers will also do a great job for this activity. So you can choose whichever paper you want. Do not take a very thin paper because we will be using water. So a regular uh, A4 printing paper will not work for this technique. You can even choose a drawing paper for this activity. So once when you make a border on all four sides, you can think of what you wanted to draw for your design. I am going to draw a simple lotus here. You can choose any subject as I told in the beginning. So let us start by drawing a flower petal. Using a soft pencil, just go and trace the outline of your flower. You can plan your drawing according to the size and shape of your paper. So take your time to draw your full design patiently. Let your design be very mild, it should not be heavy dark drawing so that if you make a mistake, it is easy to make corrections. So I am going to now show the water lily paths. We can't show the whole leaf, so we are just going to show a part of the leaf here because our canvas is small. So once when your outline is ready like this, you can go ahead and start tracing that using a black marker. Now a black marker is a permanent marker because you are going to use water to wash on this paper. So if you use a regular marker pen, it will start to bleed. So use a permanent marker for this outline activity. If you do not have a black marker at home, you can straight away paint with coffee and at the end you can go over with an ordinary marker. So now as a next step, we are going to use a black sharpie to trace our full design. I am just going to go exactly on my pencil line with a very thin outline with my black permanent marker. This way we will trace our full design and we will keep it ready. If you notice my drawing now, you will see that I have completed all my outline with the black permanent marker. Once when you are done with the outline, you can use a soft eraser and you can clean all the pencil lines. There should not be any residue of the pencil line. So please ensure to clean it thoroughly like how I am doing now. Once when your cleaning is done, your drawing is ready to start with your coffee painting. 
Now, before you start with the painting, we need to understand how we can mix our coffee powder. So, let us learn how to mix our instant coffee powder. In a small cup, we are going to take some instant coffee powder. You can choose any brand, that does not matter, but we just have to take a little bit of coffee powder like this. Just add this into a small bowl and then add some water to make your coffee powder into a paste. And then mix it thoroughly till you get a fine paste without any granules. Once when your powder is thoroughly mixed with water, you will get a brown decoction like this. Do not add too much of water because you will dilute the tone of the brown color. Remember, we are going to do a monochromatic, so it is going to be all in brown shades. So, let us have the darkest brown that we can get with the coffee powder. Okay? So, once when your paste is ready like this, Add a few drops of liquid glue, white glue. This white glue will help to bind the powder pigments and the coffee powder together to your paper. So, ensure to add a little white glue to your mixture so that it will bind on to the surface, it will not come off. So, mix it thoroughly with your paste and keep it ready for your coffee painting. As a next step, we are going to start painting our coffee painting design. So, our design is now all set for painting. So, as a first step, you are going to add little water to the entire background with a diluted coffee decoction. Remember your paper should be a slightly thick paper, otherwise when you put water, it will start making a bulge and it will also rip off if you do a lot of shading on it. So, please be ens please ensure to have a slight thick paper. So, first wet the surface and apply little coffee to it and get the, the lightest brown that you can get with that decoction. Now, this lightest brown color is applied all over your paper, kind of staining the entire white paper to a slight brownish tone. Since we are going to use just one color, we have to manage the lightest till the darkest color here in this painting. It is going to be in a monochromatic color scheme, just in brown. So, like this, we will wet the whole surface and we will leave it to dry for a couple of minutes. Now, I have applied the lightest brown to the entire background and I have left it to dry. After 5 to 10 minutes of drying time, you are now ready to start details with the same brown coffee mixture. So, start with the darkest color that you have to do in your piece. So, for example, if I am going to do the stem, I can paint that with a direct brown coffee there. You can also do the overlapping petals, the folded petals with the direct brown, kind of giving it a relief. Like this, we will identify areas where we have to do it dark and light based on the design and we will fill it up and we will keep it ready. Now, I have just done the rolled out petals, the 
underneath part and now I am going to do the actual petals which are facing in front. So, you are just going to apply a light tone of coffee. Remember the lightest color is already applied so you have to gradually do the shading to get the effect using the coffee brown. So, just going to go one petal at a time gradually shading. The shadings might vary based on your subject if it is a fruit, vegetable, floral arrangement, a scenery, whatever you plan the same technique can be applied like washing it first with the lightest color and then choosing all the dark areas in your piece and filling it up like that and gradually going out with shading one by one area carefully. So, this way you will be shading each of the flower petals and you will keep it ready. If you notice I have completed now the flower part with all the petals. Now, I am going to go further and I am going to start painting the pollen part. The pollen part has nice bold circle pollen. So, you can actually flatly fill those circles with the direct brown paint I mean the brown coffee color. You can put some stippling dots there for the pollen effect. So, this way you will be completing the floral part. Same way we are going to now do the leaf part the lily pads which are there. So, just paint the corners with dark brown like that and then use some water to shade it down to give it a shaded effect. Same technique will be applied for all the leaves. Just apply some brown on the edge of the lily pad and use some water to just tone it down and shade it. In the same way we will get ready with the remaining leaves. Now that we have finished painting our lily pads we can now move now to the water part. For the water part you can just take the brown again the brown coffee apply a few strokes like that and use water again to just wash it up like that. So, just give a depth like dark and light shading in your shading. So, it will give you a water effect. I am showing one more time please watch this. So, take brown paint brown coffee just apply a few strokes like that like water waves and then take water and softly blend the strokes and that will give you a water effect. The same way we will do the remaining parts and we will keep it ready. Now, I have completed the water part 2 and it is now left to dry. This piece takes quite some time to dry because the coffee decoction part will take some time to dry totally for you. Once when it is totally dry you can decide if you want to add more depth you can still go again on the same dark areas and you can work on the depth of the areas. Like if you want the stem to be even more darker or the underneath petals to be even more darker you can go over it one more time to make it look even more bold and dark like that. When you are fully done with such details you can leave your piece to dry and you can mount it on a another bold paper. If you notice I have fully completed my coffee painting this is totally dry and I have mounted it on a black paper to add more relief to the design. Once when you are done with this kind of a mount you are ready to frame your picture. If you notice I have gone over some areas again and I have added a lot of depth so that it looks more relief in the picture. Once when your piece is done like this it is ready for framing. You have another option when you do coffee painting you can still do a lot of details by using some gold metallic outliners. Look at this piece here I have done an Egyptian pharaoh design and I have done the entire design the same way 
how I showed all the basic methods of application and then I've gone over the entire design with a golden outliner to give it this kind of a rustic effect. So you can also try these kinds of uh, ancient designs for this coffee painting technique. I hope you'll enjoy creating your very own coffee painting and thanks for watching.